Should German police be doing this? Officers have been quashing Berlin protests using this technique to move climate protesters who are blocking roads. People online are calling it a pain grip, where officers force the hand forward to put pressure on the wrist. When confronted, one officer said this. A spokesperson for the police union told a German newspaper the Berlin police always try to use communication first, and the woman had the opportunity to leave the street several times. Commentators say the pain grip is similar to torture. Hi, this is Shadi. So today we're discussing this incident. Um, this is not the first time that wrist locks have been used during arrests and we're gonna talk about them through the filter of Jita Kyoe because that's the best thing you can do and that is the uh, idea of mutual prosperity for self and others. And of course uh, this topic especially when it comes to police is highly controversial it can cause a lot of problems, heated debates, so on and so forth. But let's discuss things through the values of judo because I do believe that's the best way to approach things when done, when it, especially when it comes to safety. So this idea that wrist locks are uh, considered now acts of torture, in my humble opinion, I think uh, it's a bit of... Uh, it's a bit of an exaggeration because consider techniques such as waterboarding, etc. And now just check out a, a small wrist lock. You would see that it's a huge uh, overblown statement, uh, in my opinion. And this brings us to the topic of grappling. And if you don't know grappling, 100% you do not know what you are seeing and you do not know how things feel like and you do not know the idea of control and that's very important the concept of control so first I just want to show you Mifune here executing the same wrist lock from the side and here it is just pinning the elbow uh, on the torso while pulling on the wrist obviously it can cause pain but the idea here is to control. There is many ideas behind this wrist lock. So here, for example, let's see it in another demonstration. So here, as he is taking someone off the ground after an arrest, here you can see he can have that wrist and hand fully tied. Now, people will say it's an act of torture. Well, if it's an act of torture and it should not be done, well, just the simple act of handcuffing can be considered torture because you are somewhat putting the hand in a position of a te gatame as you are seeing here that also can be very problematic and painful but to say it's torture personally i think it's an exaggeration and now granted um what these people are doing what are they protesting for uh, is it is it uh, civil unrest is it looting there are just so many things that can go wrong and i'm not gonna go case by case but i'm just gonna talk about the technique uh, itself because the idea of control is very important personally something like strangles can be very dangerous because think about it you have uh, the first one being you don't know what you are doing Maybe you're a beginner and you just learned it. Check out the subway incident that happened a while back. Two, uh, if you saw the Diaz guillotine incident, the way the head uh, bounced off and just hit the floor, that's also very dangerous and problematic and uh, it should not be executed because there is a risk if taken too far, intentionally or unintentionally, death is inevitable or at the least severe brain damage now this wrist lock here is for two things the first one being obviously to nullify the main hand so uh, you know that you have it within your grasp and the other one is actually very far so you know that they're not gonna strike you with the other hand the other hand cannot reach your belt uh, the other hand cannot do anything while the other one is uh, fully in your control and if they try to do anything or if they try to run away if they if anything they try to resist you can simply increase the pressure and this is the idea of the whole thing submissions uh, ab 
an arm bar can be done just you can squeeze your thighs together and just break the hold when you are sparring with your partner and then slowly uh, retract and extend your hips while at the same time you can be very vicious and this is the where the concept of Jita Kyoe comes into mind is that everyone should benefit they should be held accountable to whatever they have done or uh, whatever the case may be but at the same time you should keep them safe up until they are in that car and off to wherever or uh, just make sure everyone's safe including the officers the community as a whole and of course uh, troublemakers because let's just because you don't know uh, what what's gonna happen you don't know what they did why they did etc so uh, controlling someone is your best control putting someone in a pin or a hold after you release nothing happens to them that's the whole goal you can exert so much uh, pressure on them you can exert so much uh, you can frustrate them mentally etc but once you let go you let go and they can just stand up as if nothing uh, happened and that's very important in these uh, submissions because now you have the option to keep yourself to keep everyone safe around you until back up uh, maybe until they reason with you and say hey okay i'm okay i'm good not just for the police but anyone now unfortunately um that's not good all the time because if i'm not uh, mistaken leandro law may he rest in peace try to do the same he he controlled someone he he tried to reason with them and then they came back and unfortunately he passed away uh, in a very ugly manner so uh, but I, th I don't think anyone with a bit of ethics with a bit of uh, human decency etc would promote uh, pr police brutality no matter the race no matter the country etc so controlling is very important and of course before the whole thing try to reason there's always uh, the the ability to talk with someone to reason with them then as a last resort a tiny pin a tiny arm hold etc uh, it's not uh, too much in the definition it's called law enforcement so in case someone wants to exacerbate the situation they should be controlled and rightfully so uh, i'm not gonna go into specific cases or you know climate change or whatever it, that doesn't matter what i'm trying to point out here is that uh, to say something as basic as controlling someone and holding them so they don't uh, do uh, more trouble after they have been warned verbally is uh, idiotic in my opinion and please let me know what you think down below this was Shady and thank you for listening